Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Wong. This is our first Wong figure from the MCU. I'm happy about it. Uh, so now I can have my MCU hero shelf. Um, and this is the Wong from Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Uh, so let's go over to packaging. So you get that Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness logo down here. Marvel's Wong, Marvel Legends logo here. Here's the side art of Wong. Here is the back with that same artwork. And if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. I know it's a little hard to read that with that white in the background there. Marvel Legends logo here. And here we will be building um, Rintra. Uh, we already went over Doctor Strange. We're doing Wong right now. Uh, and then there's America Chavez, uh, Mordo. Um, the, uh, I forgot his name. Doctor Strange, but in his... Um, I forgot the name of the thing. Uh, and then we got Despair and then Sleepwalker. And then here's the other side. Here is the top with the Doctor Strange logo furnished on top. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And then here is Wong out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories. First, we get Ren Tra's left arm, which we'll go over once we build him. So let's we'll throw that back there. And then we get... Uh, apparently Wong has a sword in the movie now, so yeah, you get that nice white covered, um, hold, I mean, um, holder, hand holder, I forget what you call it, and then we get that little hilt, the gold hilt, which looks like it has some nice decaling or sculpting there, and you get the nice silver blade, it's an interesting shaped blade, so yeah, there's that, um, and then we got one hand gripping, uh, one sword holding hand for him for that sword so yeah we've seen this before and then we got these spell holding hands these are different sizes but these are transparent plastic orange painted though and then don't try to pull them off otherwise they'll break so yeah different sizes and then here is wong up close so the head sculpt is amazing it looks exactly like what the actor looks like uh, you get the nice black hair for him the eyes look great Get the little goatee going there for him. And then you got his nice outfit here. So you get some nice orange, a little bit of brown in there, and then yellow. So yeah, this is his new outfit in it. Uh, I know he's in Infinity War in the first Doctor Strange movie, he was like wearing orange, or not orange, red. And you get that nice light, I mean, like vibrant purple right here. And then you get the darker purple here. You get some that light purple around the edges. And you get that little, like, robe thing for him. So you get that nice uh, orange there. You get the sling ring right there. And then you get the little skirt piece with a lot of armor, it looks like, around it. So, yeah, you get that stuff. Brown. These are these are layered up. Uh, you get that more darker purple there. You get some yellow with some nice sculpting. You get that little very light purple right here down the end. And you get the purple pants, which are very loose. And you get the black shoes here. And for the arms, your uh, the knees and arms are pinless. Or actually, no, the, the knees look like they're just single jointed, actually. You're not double jointed. But the arms are pinless. And you get that nice light purple right here on the sleeves with that rimmed. Uh, sleeves here and you get the like spell casting hand here for both of his hands and then yeah let's go over the articulation for him so he has a double ball joint in the head now so you can look down that far you can look up that far which is insane you can look left and right uh side to side movement um it looks like his neck moves too can't tell it looks like his neck does move yeah, I think there's a ball joint. Yeah, there's a ball joint at the neck. His neck moves too. So yeah, you can rotate that if you want. So that's nice. It actually helps with the head moving quite a lot. Jeez, that, that's nice. Um, and then shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation around the shoulder. Bicep swivel. Um, double jointed elbows. Pinless, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, let's get this gold armored look here with some blue on his other hand or sleeve, you know, I don't know what that is. 
Uh, wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. Uh, he has a ball joint at the hips, so you can go down that far, backwards that far, side to side. It's twisting. Uh, legs, they don't want to move too much, but like they'll spread out that far, go forward that far, backwards none. Because of the thickness of the skirt here is just insane. Single jointed and knees here, so only that far. And you can also twist them if you want. Ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that's Wong for you. I think he's a really cool figure. Uh, the only problem that I have is the legs. But besides that, the head movement's insane. It's awesome. Uh, arms work fine. I love the detailing on this figure and this outfit, new outfit. Um, I, I don't know about the sword, if he actually has it in the movie or not. So I can't tell. I feel like this is a concept piece, but we'll see in the movie. But besides that, I think it's a really cool figure. I think you should get him... Um, I wanted to get him just because I don't have a long figure. I'm a fitness, I mean, uh, uh, MCU uh, shelf for heroes. I have an MCU shelf for the heroes and stuff for it. And I've been wanting a long figure forever. So I'm happy I got him. Um, but yeah, I think he's worth the money. Um, but yeah, that's all I really got. If you guys want to check out my TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram, go ahead and check those out. And my link tree in the description. But besides that, thanks for watching.